Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and after a pretty long hiatus, uh, I am back to finish Code Geass. Now, what happened previously, um, the last episode that I watched was the 12th episode of Season 2, which was Love Attack. Um, now, the whole reason this show has been on hiatus with me is because that episode got a copyright strike. And that caused complications for the channel, um, forced me to take a general hiatus from doing reactions... And, um, you know, made me really re rethink how I wanted to go about doing this series. So um, I do want to finish it because, you know, I've gotten this far and there's, you know, only a few episodes left of this season. Um, I really want to, I mean, the way I'm going to be doing this is very similar to how I'm doing My Hero Academia um, and doing Voltron. I'm going to be blaring the episode content so that you won't be able to necessarily see what's on the screen with the episode, but you'll get a general idea as to which scene it is. Um, and it's worked so far for my other sort of videos. It's prevented any kind of copyright strike or claim. Um, and hopefully it will be a similar position here. Um, because it has been so long, you know, I mean, I've I've gone back and, you know, rewatched little bits and, and reread up on the, the story. Um, I mean, it's not been so long that I've forgotten what's happened, you know, but there may be little things that have slipped my mind. I remember the last episode um, was very much, you know, again, the, the school having one of these parties. Um, Lelouch wasn't actually there at the time. Um, Sayako was um, sort of posing as him. Um and then at the end of the episode, we saw that Shirley, who had been brainwashed with the Gias previously, um, started to remember. Started to remember everything about, um, you know, what happened with Lelouch and, you know, him being Zero. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see where that goes and how she reacts to that. Um, Jeremiah is also on the hunt. Um and, you know, that's, I think his Gias was that, it was, I'm, I'm trying to remember, was his Gias that he cancelled out other people's Giasses? I, I think that's something along those lines that helped. Um, but yeah, basically it was kind of like a cat and mouse thing, you know, Lelouch was just trying to avoid being spotted in public. Um, because, you know, again, he's, they're keeping very close tabs on him at the moment. Um, specifically Suzaku, you know, because he is, you know, wondering whether the memory wipe that was done on Lelouch had actually, you know, still been in effect. And he was thinking that because Zero's back, does that mean that, you know, that Lelouch is still Zero? Or is it someone else? So he's been keeping a close eye on him. Um, also, you know, obviously previously we'd had things like the phone calls from Nunnally, who is the, um, not the Chancellor, but what's the name of the, the power, position of power? Basically, she's in charge of Japan right now. So that's another interesting thing that I'm going to be wanting to see where that goes. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to finish this series. Um, but in the meantime, let's jump into it, find out what happens, and uh, yeah, let's go. Having to come here and spend each day cheerfully smiling at the young woman. Who oh, okay. Shot me. My true feelings have to be hidden behind the mask of a teacher. The mask is slipping off. This is very weird, though. Surely, Finnet. How dare you? How dare you shoot me? Yeah. She's remembering. Is this all in her head? Yeah, this is in her head. Well, that was a pleasant dream. <laughs> but I'll help you with the rest of your homework when I return. <laughs> I'll catch you later then. <laughs> They're still very much like brothers, you know, even after everything that's happened. Lulu was zero, and Coach Valletta was a soldier, and Colin was one of the Black Knights. Yep, everyone is Pizza Hut! And the press. Everyone is false. And is our school the weirdest place on Earth? Yeah. Why is Natalie now the vice? Yeah, boy? it's like you've woken up into... A... <laughs> Can you imagine this? She's woken up in a crazy world. Uh oh. Suspicious male sighted near the chapel. B5 and B9 have moved in to apprehend him. Jeremiah. Uh oh. Look what happened simply by asking where Lelouch was. Lord Jeremiah. <laughs> He's a bit different since you last saw him. 
I have no desire to kill a woman if I don't need to. We at least share she that. is... <laughs> yes, she is... <laughs> oh, please don't die. No, not that sort of guy. What? Hey, Jeb, uh, um, what? You just... Who knows what type of Gios he controls? You must <laughs> never let your guard down, even for a child. Okay. It's correct. <laughs> Cornelia, you do live up to your reputation, don't you? Uh... As your uncle, I'm very proud of you. Uncle? My what? Uncle? What? Damn it. <laughs> Steal time! Yes. Now... Okay. Now get him while I'm holding him still. Go on. With great pleasure. Can't know his gears. His gears. Oh no. But that's not possible. My gears. It should stop time with absolutely anyone. Roll on lamp rooms. Oh no. Just as I thought. You've been fooled. How oh no! That's how. Yeah. I called Suzaku out here, but what should I say to him? This is very tense. Surely, what kind of game are you playing? Or was it Suzaku who called her out here? Lulu told me that Lelouch. <laughs> They're all playing each other in some way. Intelligence from the OSI backs that up also. I have to tell Suzaku. He needs to know that Lelouch is here. I've got a feeling Shirley's going to die here. She called Suzaku out to tell him about the Lelouch. The settlement and the ghettos. <laughs> Where are you going? What? Okay. Oh no. Hey, this would be a bad time for Jeremiah to show up. She... She passed out. Why? Why is she so suicidal? I don't want to lose you or anyone else in my life. Why am I laughing? After what Lelouch did to Yuffie. And after Shirley tried to kill herself, it's a very weirdly lighthearted scene. Yes, I am. Oh god. That's what he did. Lelouch has used his gears on you. Sir Suzaku Kururugi, yep. in the Night of Seven. Uh, uh, my lord! <laughs> this might be an act of terrorism, so from here on, I'm taking command of all the perimeter police and fire. He just carries men. his, right. uh, communicate lord, over him. I want you to protect that young woman right over there. And you've got a Gios canceller. Your vengefulness is truly top-notch, orange boy. There's no vengefulness. <laughs> orange boy. It's sheer loyalty. How I hate to hear that. Where is the order located? And where is V2? You're the one who will talk here! Oh, he's powering through. I have my reasons. I'm resolved to see my loyalty. Uh. I must know the truth for certain, once and for all. But how? He shouldn't be able to move. Um. Why did you adopt the role of Zero? I remember because I was there too. He was? You were? My first assignment. So then why? Lady Marianne, whom I loved and respected, but I failed to carry through with that loyalty. What? I just wasn't able to protect her. He loved his mother. Your bloods, then, Master Lelouch. Everything is becoming clear now. I'll die without regret. Lord Jeremiah. Okay, so that that turned out. Was it a trick? My prince. Jeremiah, Did he trick you? Listen, your steadfast loyalty is still desperate. I don't trust him. I don't right? trust him. Indeed, yes, your Majesty. I don't trust him. I don't know why. I just don't trust him. What a question. He could have just been saying that to get him to disable the things. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's just revealed how much she knows. <gasps> Don't tell me she's dead. Did Rollo kill her? Oh shit. Rollo killed Shirley. Surely. I knew she was gonna die. I simply couldn't hate you. Even though you made me forget everything. 
everything. I still oh. fell in love with you. Even though my memories were tampered with. I kept falling in love with yeah. you. No, Shirley! You can't die! That's not gonna work. I don't think that's how it works. It's sad. I, I never really bought into their relationship, but it's still sad. Surely. Surely. Yeah, I mean, I had a feeling that entire way through the episode that Shirley wouldn't make it. It just wasn't possible with all of her knowledge and the way that she was fitting into the story for her to survive because she's too much... She knows too much. She was too much of um, a threat to everyone really she threatened um lelouch's position as zero you know she knew things that most people didn't know you know including nunnally that the fact that she is lelouch's sister which is the reason why rollo killed her the one thing i wasn't expecting was for it to be rollo who killed her and it was that bit of knowledge that you know unfortunately caused her demise as soon as rollo realized that she knew who Lelouch was and she knew the truth I guess in his head it was kind of like she has to die she knows too much she's risking Lelouch's position um, and she's got a gun which you know is going to put him under pressure anyway um, it was a very very kind of on edge episode you know having Shirley Lelouch and Suzaku in the same scenes together where they're all trying to figure each other out and they're all trying to play different games is something that, you know, it's it's not easy to tiptoe around and, and you know, Shirley... Uh, I mean, I sympathise with her because can you imagine waking up in that kind of environment where everything you know seems false, you know? Everyone's memories around her have been altered. Um, Lucia's sister is now... The, the the governor um you know the in, basically in charge of japan lelouch is the head of a rebellion that has caused so much chaos um you know it must have been a nightmare and her father killed in that landslide on the mountain was killed by you know the black knights who lelouch just happens to be the leader of um, but she managed to overcome that and, you know, accept things for the way they were. And, you know, she looked like she was finally accepting what was going on. And then that happened. Uh, Jeremiah, he's an interesting one. All the way through, you're thinking that he's coming to kill Lelouch. And they played it very well, you know. Um, he didn't he didn't give any hint of there being any other motive other than just getting to Lelouch and killing him. Um, and then that sheer desire and that willpower that he had to fight through whatever that effect was that was stopping him um but then to reveal that he was there the day that Lucia's mother died and the fact that he was in love with her and you know then to see him change I mean I didn't trust that what he was saying was true I thought he was trying to dupe Lelouch into lowering the the weapon or the energy field so that he could then strike um and you know I mean, I, I get. I was expecting fully for him to kind of like, you know, say something like "you fool" and then try and lash out at him. Um, but no, that's a very interesting character twist, and I don't know if he will have survived or if he died. I mean, I hope he survived because I would love to know more about what happened to him. And his power is extremely important. You know, being able to cancel out Gias. I think everyone has been Gias at the moment because everyone's memory has been changed. That knows Lelouch. Um. And it's a shame he wasn't round, um, you know, beforehand because we could have really used that power. Um, I don't know what's going on with Cornelia. Um, I mean, they're talking about killing gods and, you know, that whole side of things is still yet to be properly explored. Um, but... I'm looking forward to finding out more about that side of it. So, anyway, yeah, that was a really good episode to come back to. Um, you know, very dramatic. Um, there was a lot of, you know, tense moments. And, you know, unfortunately, Shirley is no longer with us. Um, but, you know, we'll see where things go from here. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you for the next episode.